Hello friends, happy Wednesday. The triumphant return of the Wednesday basket pipe. I don't know, I, I may have actually smoked it last week, I do not remember. I have uh, some 30 year old half and half here, which is a kind gift of my buddy Tim Fournier. Um, I gotta tell you, I'm not I'm not the world's biggest half and half fan. Um, it's it's not my least favorite over the counter blend, but it's certainly not high on my list. And uh, this is pretty good. Yeah, I like it. And I'm about halfway through the bowl, so I might have to reload while we talk. So I got a whole collection of stuff that I, that I wanted to cover today. Um, disconnected things, <laughs> mostly announcements and such, but uh, we'll get through those. And I do have a little little shop thing I wanted to show you. I've been playing around with something that I, I'm pretty excited about, so we'll get to that at the end. There's a reason for you to hang on or at least jump ahead. So, But don't jump ahead because the next couple things are important. So first off, while I'm thinking about uh, my buddy Tim, uh, this Friday, if all goes well, we are going to have the live group tasting of Tim's blend, I Hate Roger Goodell. Uh, this is our Super Bowl Spectacular show. Uh, it has nothing to do with the Super Bowl other than the fact that the tobacco is named I Hate Roger Goodell. We're not going to do anything else uh, Super Bowl related, but you know. So I hope you can join us for that. It's going to be this Friday, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. And the reason I say if all goes well is that Tim sent me the tobacco in plenty of time, but it took a week to get here. Uh, Two-day mail. took a week to get here. I immediately sent it out. Uh, like I got it 11 o'clock, and it was back in the mail at like 2 o'clock. So it's going out to three people that are going to be joining us on Friday night. So it's going out to Street Glide Piper, Zippo 765. I think, and Pirate Frog 333. So those are those are going to be the three tasters along with myself. Tim's going to join us as well, but of course Tim has tasted it before. And we're going to do a live tasting if it gets to those three people in time. Now, it magically got to the first one in one day. Uh, so it took a week to get to me at this point. Uh, the other two supposedly are going to be delivered tomorrow and Friday. So my hope is that by Friday evening, everybody will have the tobacco. Nobody's going to smoke it until we actually uh, sit down and, and uh, join in on, on the live stream. So the other thing that has to go well is I have to figure out how to put Google Meet into a YouTube video, but I'll, I'll get that worked out. I, I know I can do it. Um, and I don't think I'm going to try to be fancy with it. I'm just going to do it the way I've done Zoom in the past. It works. All right, so that's one thing off the list. Another thing is um, I wanted to talk a little bit about my friend Todd, uh, Little Fat Morgan, as, uh, as he's known on YouTube. Little Fat Morgan, or Todd, has been an absolute staple of my live streams. He is usually the first person to show up. He's usually quite early. Uh, one of the early birds uh, that, that show up every week and you know I love that when I go to connect to the stream there's already people chatting it just it, it gives me that little boost right before I, I start talking to see that there's people that are that interested to show up early and, and chat amongst themselves uh, and Todd is always one of those people uh, comments a lot during the, the live streams comments on a lot of other folks live streams uh, really good guy I'm a little embarrassed to admit this, but I did not know that, Ted, that Todd made videos. Um, I just found out that he made videos because he's going to be doing a giveaway, uh, his 100 subscriber giveaway. I'm amazed that Todd only has 100 subscribers. Um, and if you follow Kilted Piper Steve, now known as Bear Wolf, uh, B E A R Wolf. Uh, Steve talked about the fact that Todd's going to be having this giveaway as well. 
Um, I don't know everything that's involved, but there's going to be a uh, Phil Rivera pipe. So Phil actually made a special pipe for Todd to, to give away. It's a beautiful pipe. I've seen her on Instagram and I'm excited about it. So he hasn't announced the giveaway yet, but it's coming. I want to recommend that you get to Todd's channel and you subscribe and you uh, keep them on your on your list so that when the giveaway gets announced, you know what you need to do and get in on the fun. So I'll put a link below. Um, you can search for Little Fat Morgan. Put quotes on it because a lot of stuff shows up if you don't. Uh, but I'll, I'll put a link below so you don't have to do that if you uh, if you don't want to. So good luck with that, Todd. And I hope we get you a lot more than a hundred subs by the time this is all done. Uh, last thing on my sort of uh, announcements or whatever you want to call these is I got I got an email from my friend Jimmy and Jimmy I, I I'm sorry I do not remember what your YouTube name is or if you even have a YouTube name I think you do but I, I'm not sure I remember what it is so I'm not going to give that I'm just going to call you Jimmy uh, Jimmy has a pipe that he wants to give away so Jimmy has a Dr. Graybo um, I can't read my own writing the Dr. Graybo Riviera <laughs> Dr. Graybo Riviera Adjustomatic Billiard, uh, medium to small size pipe. I haven't seen it, but he said it was restored by Tim West, and Tim does excellent restoration work. So I'm sure it's in great condition. Uh, he's only smoked it a few times. He's just not. He doesn't want it. Want to keep it in his gathering of pipes, and he wants somebody to somebody that can benefit from it to get it. So he asked me if I wanted to do a giveaway with it and I said, no, I'd rather find a way to give it to somebody that needs a pipe, you know, that actually does need a pipe. So what I would like you guys to do is if you know anybody that would really benefit from having a briar pipe, uh, you know, maybe there's somebody that's just starting out, maybe they uh, only have corn cob pipes, maybe they're uh, you know, one of the first responders, a policeman, fireman, a veteran, uh, whatever. Let me know. Uh, send me an email, canerodpiper at gmail.com, and we'll get a pipe to them. Uh, and Jimmy's also looking for folks. So if he identifies someone first, that's okay. I'll, I'll get another pipe because uh, I've got several here that I've got lined up for giveaways at some point. So we'll, we're going to pick one person. I don't know exactly how I'm going to pick. Maybe I'll just uh, summarize the people and send it off to Jimmy and we can choose, you know, most deserving somehow or something like that. Maybe I'll just do a random drawing from the names I get. I don't know. But send me an email. Tell me about the person. Tell me why they why they need this pipe and we'll, uh, we'll make them happy. So please uh, consider that and send an email again, canerodpiper at gmail.com. So that's that's my announcements for the day. I am really enjoying this this half and half. It's it's interesting. Where's my lighter? It's um I guess because of age a lot of the topping has kind of diminished. But it's got that old burly flavor to it. I don't know how to call it antique burly. I, I don't know what else to call it. Very pleasant. So I've been I've been working, taking a short break while I make this video. But uh, yeah, work has been keeping me pretty busy. But I've been doing a little bit of playing around early in the morning, late in the evening. Um, not late in the evening, after work, before dinner, that kind of stuff. Uh, you, doing what I was calling a secret project on Instagram and uh, this was just something I could do without having to lift anything without a, you know it was a small project and it was keeping me sane as I'm going through this healing process so what I did was I made a set of these I don't know if you know what that is but that is a French wheel it's used for sanding that screw screws into a arbor attachment on a motor 
and this will spin and you can hold things against it. It's got curves and you can see there's some wrinkles on that. That will flatten out quite nicely. Uh, it's tight on there, but that will flatten out with use. Uh, this is fairly low grit. This is 150 grit, so it's a little coarse and it's hard to get it wrapped properly. But there you have it. Uh, so how I made these this is one in, in kind of a draw form. You can see it's it's domed. Uh, the screw is actually a 5 16th, which is what fits the motor arbor. And there's obviously a nut on the back of that and a washer. And then I made this this large washer out of the same material. This is um I've always called it hardboard. It's the stuff you use to, like for the bottoms of drawers sometimes, or the back of like an entertainment center kind of thing, or a bookshelf. Uh, I don't know what it's really, I think it, I, I, I learned to call it hardboard, but I think it's just a thin MDF. And what I did was I glued layers of that together. I put the bolt through the middle and epoxied it in place. I then put it onto the motor arbor. Uh, put the motor arbor in my lathe and for the first one because I wasn't uh, wasn't able to use lathe tools yet I just used 80 grit sandpaper and shaped it and uh, came out pretty good uh, later I, I did start to use a uh, scraper which I can you know hold without too much pressure and all and you the idea is you well the next step is this is a uh, craft foam this black craft foam that's been glued onto the face of that and that just provides a little bit of padding and then you put the sandpaper over you wrap it around the back this comes down and sandwiches it in place and you're good to go so I've made four of these and the idea is to have four different grits going from 150 up to 400 and I can just spin them on and off the motor rubber uh, to, to sand. So pretty exciting. That curve lets you, you know, get in areas that you might not otherwise be able to. Now it's this is not it's not a shaping tool. It is a sanding tool, but it's not you know it's not like you're going to take a pipe to it and sand it down and you're going to be done. You're still going to have a lot of detail sanding to do. But this can get the big areas. Um, and things like the stem shank junction, uh, you could, you know, stems as well. So I've been wanting these for a long time, and uh, I had the time, and I couldn't do anything else, so <laughs> that's what I did. the The lathe work has convinced me now that I am very close to being able to get back into. Uh, using the belt sander and things like that for stem making but I'm still not sure about the filing motion because that that actually involves a lot of core and I'm not supposed to be using my core for, for very much so we're getting there you guys that are waiting on stems I they're gonna happen uh, just probably not this week so we'll get there and when we get there we'll have new sanders to uh, to pretty up your stems if anybody's interested in the building of those, I did take a lot of pictures and I'm going to put together a blog post on it uh, probably sometime next week. Mainly, I just want to have that so that I have documentation of how I did them in case I ever want to make another one. But somebody out there might be interested. Uh, and there's easier ways to do it. I just was taking advantage of the material I had and my current abilities. Uh, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't get a, a big piece of hardwood out and cut it and you know put it on the lathe and all that so uh, it was easy to take these small pieces of this thin mdf and cut them up on the bandsaw and, and all that so anyway that's that so nothing else really new going on here other than uh, keeping busy trying to keep sane enjoying some half and half so friday I hate Roger Goodell live tasting.
You're not going to want to miss this one. Little Fat Morgan. Go and subscribe to him. Link will be below. And if you know somebody that's worthy of receiving a pipe, drop me an email. We'll, uh, we'll put it in the hat and we'll, we'll see who wins. All right, guys. I'm going to get back to work now. So you all take care. Have a great Wednesday. And we'll see you on Friday night. Bye now. Thank mm -hmm. you.